Okay, this is for the Bauer, the number 28 or the 29, okay, uh, that comes from Harbor Freight. If you're needing to know the screws so you can break it down, I went to Home Depot, Fastenal is the best place to go. Home Depot, uh, if you have no choice, um, Lowe's can, but Ace Hardware, if they're open, and um, Fastenal is the very best. I got these at Home Depot, and let's see. I paid $8.73 all together for uh, this grease to put inside to take that half a teaspoon of whatever that is. It's lighter than Vaseline out of there after 36 hours of use. Um, this, I wish they had a can, but you could take the top off of this so you could go inside and just use a little plastic knife. But this, this is great stuff. Um, okay, uh, for the, there's the schematic, all right, okay, so here's the buffer head, okay, there's your backing plate, okay, the screws to the weight, which is this, number 43, the little counterweight, there's two screws. Okay. That one is this here. And it actually has kind of a little lock washer or crusher washer. Um, what you're not really supposed to reuse those. You're supposed to um, put new ones in every time. But this screw... It has to be a machine screw, um, and most of them are metric. Um, this is the screw that goes with this one, and this is the exact size, except it has a hex head to it. That's the only thing, it has a hex head. And you want to put them in tight, um, but this is a real heavy screw, so it won't strip out. Um, this one for the counterweight, is socket cap screw by Everbuilt and it's like M4-0.7 by 16 millimeter metric plane number two okay and that's for the counterweight you need two of those okay and I got some washers here this is just the flat washer it would have been better if it was the locking one but this will be all right um, the flat washer M4 metric stainless four pack, okay, by Everbilk. Okay, and that's just for the number 43 screws to the counterweight that goes inside, which is this part. Let's see, they sink in there. Okay, now, uh, Okay, let me see. And these screws for 40, which is the screws to the cup, this cup right here, because you know this piece goes in here. Okay, the cup. Okay, there's three screw holes here. Okay, these three screws that go in here with no washers or anything, um, they're sunken screws. So, uh, they're put in to keep this running flush. I don't, yeah, it's got a little clearance. So, you could, you could put a different screw in there with a different head that's not totally sunk. But, I'm going to try to reuse the ones I've got for now because it's Sunday and these other stores aren't open fast. And I would have this screw. It takes three of them. You see how the head's kind of sunken? Okay, and I got the number 36 screws that open the gearbox. 
which is this part goes to this okay the four screws here all right uh that's a little gear thing part of it okay number 36 is the screws to open the gearbox there's four of those okay and they look just like the screws to the weight that has the little crusher washer or lock washer and Phillips head. But these these are like butter. These things are terrible. Um, you want to replace them because you'll never be able to service it again. It's real shaky when you're trying to do it anyway. Okay, and these extend a little bit, which is fine because it's on the outside. It's not got anything hitting it or anything. So these are okay if they're a little taller on the head. So I got the size that fits the 36, okay, that goes to the top of the gearbox, the gearbox door, okay, is the, I got four of these, and they're by Everbuilt socket cap screws, uh, M4-0.7 by 16 millimeter metric plane. I got uh, four of those, which these are the exact same size that I used for the, um, I think it's 43 is the screw. Yeah, 43. They're the same size as the 43s. So um, I got that. You get two of these per pack. And then I got some more of those M4 flat washers metric stainless um, to go in there on the 36. So I just don't have the ones for the screws to the cup as they go in flush, but I could have put anything in there, I guess. But um, and I got it at Home Depot. You have to go to the machine screw section um, way on the end because the first guy I asked, he said they didn't have them at all. Then I went to another guy and he showed me what I had in the, in the end part and metric and machined and he fit them just right. Um, and I was going to go for stainless, but these are even tougher, he said. Okay, uh, let's see, uh, four ninety eight for the Lucas Heavy Duty. I also got a different one at Parts House yesterday, but I think I'd rather use this. This is like farm equipment grease. It takes a lot of heat and stuff. It's really nice. Um, okay, so, uh, I paid four ninety eight for the oil and the screws and washers was about three dollars so that's all you'll need um and then of course you'll need a, a hex or a hex bit to go on a tool and load them in and you want to put them in tight you don't want to over tighten but just get them in really tight they'll be fine okay and um uh, because the screws that come with it are junk so, if you're trying to grease your tool, your DA polisher, or your, um, uh, going to do bearings or whatever, which they're precision bearings, or sealed bearings, so you have to get the exact ones, but if, if you want to put the grease in it, you need to do it about, I would say, every six months, um, probably every year if you, you know, if you want, but I would do it every six months if I was detailing cars every day. Definitely clean it out and put some more in and fill that cavity so it quiets it down, keeps it running smooth, and it doesn't get too hot because these will shut off automatically when they get hot. So, there you go. Now you know what screws to get to service your Bauer DA polisher buffer. All right. Talk to you later. You have a great one. Fastenal is the best place to go.